Hey YouTube, just wanted to do an update video and I am long overdue. Sorry about that. But it's a beautiful fall day in Pennsylvania and I figured with some solar panels in the background I want to go over the spreadsheet of the uh, cost savings that I'm looking at, return on investment, how my solar panels have been doing uh, since April. It's now the end of October and uh, just let everybody know how the project uh, panned out overall. Um, the savings with going with Project Solar I think were well worth it and uh, I'm very happy with the system. So I just want to show you the, the numbers and what I'm looking at for, uh, for how things are going. Uh, obviously over the winter months there's some unknowns. Uh, Pennsylvania we get lots of cloudy days and snow. Uh, don't know what to expect and my fiscal year with my utility starts over uh, January 1st so any of my overages I'll be I believe paid for or they'll at least be credits on my account uh, come January 1st so we'll see how that goes uh, but looking at my spreadsheet um, I have receipts for everything I've paid for the uh, cost of the system uh, pardon me will I Go. It's a little sunny, a bit of a glare. Uh, the cost of the system with Project Solar uh, included the permits, uh, the solar panels, the equipment uh, was $16,765.52. So I had to pay that to Project Solar and everything else that I needed supply wise um, I added after the fact because I did my own DIY install. Uh, including the electrical. Uh, my neighbor was able to help me with the, uh, the installation part and there's a um, Project Solar adds that in as a as a, uh, part of the cost that you uh, that I was able to get back from them and just give directly to him. Um, so all the supplies you see here are were applied to the cost of of my system. Uh, as well as any refunds for things that I was able to return to the store and didn't need. Uh, I'm not really sure if the, if the uh, net metering and the connection fee for my utility is something that I can claim for $1,153, um, but I'll have to talk to my accountant about that. Um, so the system, as well as the supplies, um, they come over here to this this total. Supplies total 27 26 and 27 cents and my total system cost 20,194.79 now um, that may seem a little higher than what I originally um, had been thinking but I added on to this a solar generator uh, so the panels actually back here I added three panels to my pavilion with a direct line into my basement so that I can, I, I took, I bought an inverter, a 2.4 kilowatt hour um, battery, um, and uh, took an old uh, power, pressure washer cart and built that into something that I could make as portable power, backup power for my house because I don't have a battery system as part of my solar panel system. Um, but if you if you have a battery that's solely powered by sol, that is powered by solar panels. Uh, you can claim that as part of the tax credit, that's my understanding. So I bought those supplies, added the solar panels on, and I'm including that in my total and I should be able to get 30% uh, back on my taxes on that. Again, still need to talk to my accountant about that, but that is um, that has been added into the total here. So with those supplies, the solar generator, total system costs $20,194.79. That's, that's literally everything. Uh, so I should be able to claim that back in my taxes and get 30% back because of the newest bill. Um, they they uh, have made, I think it's for the next 10 years, you get 30% back in, in your taxes uh, as a rebate, um, as long as you pay that much in taxes. Um, and they made it retroactive for 2022. So instead of being 26% for 2022, I get 30%. Uh, so Taking that off the total cost, I'm looking at $14,136.35. Now, we did a home equity line of credit to finance the system. Um, and of course, that's based on Prime, which has gone up quite a bit. 
So we've been throwing everything we can at paying that off and I believe we should be able to pay that off definitely by next May, um, if not sooner. Uh, my, my goal would be January, but we'll see how things go. Um, so if you add on the, you know, the estimated finance charges of $685, um, that's a uh, total system cost of $14,821, almost $15,000. So looking at the current cost of my electricity, um, we, we do have good rates here. Uh, so look, uh, looking at 2021 and every month of the year, the amount of kilowatt hours that we used, um, so a total system production in 2021 of 10,539 kilowatt hours uh, with the solar panels expected production, um, the size and the price per DC watt for my system, which is again inflated a little bit because of my solar generator being added on. Um, the return on investment is I'm looking at 12 years. So what that means is this is what it, this is what the system cost me uh, with the um, cost of my current electric rate and that is supposed to go up in 2023 so it probably will be a little better than that as as time goes on the rates increase the return on investment should actually be better but that's based on 2022's electric rate um, so i'm looking at 12 years and basically what that means is yes my system will be paid off but this will pay for itself in 12 years and then after that i'm looking at pretty much having free electricity uh, for that as long as my system lasts, which it's warranted for 25 years, let's hope it lasts 30 or 40 years. Um, and that is guaranteed to be 85% uh, 80, efficient after 25 years. So, sounds great to me. Now, the other thing that's nice about being in uh, Pennsylvania is they're one of six states that has SREX. So we get solar renewable energy credits Every time I produce a one megawatt hour or a thousand kilowatt hours, um, I can claim that. And I've registered with um, srectrade.com. Uh, they get readings from me every month, and I've had a couple. Uh, I've had two months where I've had two credits to sell. Uh, the last month I had one credit to sell, and at at, a, at the current rate, um, I believe it's forty four dollars. Uh, for one credit, it's been you know down to 40, um, but it fluctuates. They sell those for me, and then um, every time I get that, I get paid for that. So my connection fee uh, for my utility, being a um, co-op, is a little high. Uh, so I pay $33 a month just to be connected to the grid, um, but at least uh, I'm getting one credit in SREX credits back. Uh, of forty dollars per month, they take two point five percent to sell my or to manage my credits. Um, so I'm looking at probably getting forty dollars a month on average uh, over the period of a year. It should offset the cost of my connection fee. Um, so uh, that, that's at you know hopefully getting fourteen um, credits per year at forty dollars. You know being the current rate that I get back, that's another five hundred sixty dollars I get per year. Um, and my annual service charge, sorry, $32 a month, I think it's maybe $33, um, you know, that, that's, that's handling the cost of being connected to the grid, plus I get a little bit extra. So Enphase uh, has a great um, interface. Obviously, I don't have any experience with other ones, but I think it works great. I can bring this up on my phone. Um, at any given time, I can see what, I'm, what I'm, energy I'm producing for that day. Um, so today, October 28th, 2022, um, it's been a bit cloudy and a bit sunny. And the current status is I've produced 27 kilowatt hours of power and I've consumed 14.1. Um, so if I go to the energy tab, and this is the same view as what I see on my phone, um, I can actually see throughout the day, you know, how, how things are going. So the blue is the energy I've produced, and the orange is what I've used. And then with, along with the orange, um, or, or depending on how much power I'm using, um, you can see 
that I'm actually importing from the grid this amount at this time. So um, my preference is to see these higher numbers down here because it's all using solar at the time. I'm not even drawing from the grid. Whenever you see uh, the, or the orange being shadowed by, um, you know, the I think it's gray. It's gray on my, my phone. Um, but there are times where you can see some solar and above it, um, you know, th there's a little bit drawing from the grid. And I know it doesn't matter overall because uh, it, it evens out with the credits. Um, but at any given time, um, I, you know, I prefer to, to be using the solar and uh, just to, to know that, I, you know, I'm producing more than I'm actually um, or producing more than I need or building up enough credits. Um, but you can see that, you know, I've imported from the grid 5.9 kilowatt hours today. I produced 27.2 so far, um, but my net is to export 13. And, you know, I'll use those in the evening and overnight. So then uh, I can see over the periods of one month. Um, so if I go back to, uh, I think June, June is my best month. July I produced 1.6 megawatt hours and consumed 1.4 megawatt hours. And in June, produced 1.8 and only consumed 1.1 so did did very nice there uh, may was also good only consumed 8.29 and produced 1.5 so fantastic results so so far this year since april um, i produced 9.4 megawatt hours and only used 6.4 uh, so the 9.4 megawatt hours every time i produce one um, I have an SREX credit that I can sell. Um, so, so far this year I produced nine and I hope to get 14. The system um, I know is notifying me that it's producing less than it, it's expected. I probably have to just reach out to Enphase support um, to find out you know, what that's based off of. But um, it's probably a setting or um, I might have entered the information wrong. Um, I know it depends on you know the angle of your panels uh, I know I'm not perfect my roof isn't perfectly uh, facing south so those are factors um, but you can see as well at any given time the array and how it's doing so um, I believe I set this right you can see that it's that it's tilted slightly um, that's that's the angle I am to facing south if I was perfectly south it would be nice and flat um, but I can I can zoom in and see um, how each individual panel is doing at any given time. So chimney, the the tree in the afternoon, it, it affects some of these uh, some of these panels. They don't produce as much, but um, I can I can at least tell if there's if there's ever an issue with a panel. So that's kind of an overview of the system, and I think it's working fantastic. I uh, hope this video is helpful to you. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this project, enjoying having solar tremendously. I highly recommend it to anyone, but I have to warn you, I think it's addicting. And once you get into this, uh, there's always, what else can I do with solar and how else can I make this better? So uh, it's something I'm um, kind of a bit of a nerd on, but from what I've seen watching other vi other people's videos, it's, it's a common thing that happens. So I uh, hope this helps and uh, I will continue to provide updates probably do a one-year update see how things go over the winter and look out for that video at a later time